Hello and welcome to this video of the tutorial list about programming the ESP32 board in an easy way. In this video, we will see together how to run several tasks in the same time. You can compare tasks to threads in C or Python programming. The ESP32 has two cores. When you create a task, you can choose on which core it will run. It is also possible to run several tasks on the same core. Let's go to the site easycoding.tn and open Tunyot for ESP32. This block will allow you to create uh, the task. Write the function name. We will create the function later. It will contain uh, the code of the task. If you are beginner, leave the default value of the stack size and the priority. For the pin task, it is uh, for the choice of the core. Choose 0 if you want to execute your task on the first core, otherwise choose 1. This is uh, the function for task 1. Here, I will make a simple program that displays a message from each task. The get core ID will show the core running uh, the task. If you want your core to be executed all the time, put it inside an infinite loop. Now I will create a second function that will run on the second core. Here, I added the delay just to have the time to open the serial monitor. Now we are ready to upload the program and see the result. As you can see, both uh, tasks are working together. Now I will blink an LED in every task with a different uh, time and uh, for uh, 5 uh, times. For that, I will need the for loop with the i counter. Now, after blinking the LED, it's important to call the delete task block. If you don't call it, you will have an error. I will do the second function with a different LED. Be aware here, you need to have a different variable counter. In Tunyot, when you create a variable, it will be shared by all of the tasks.
and uh, this is uh, the result. As you can see, the red LED in task 1 finished blinking because of the delay of 1 second. The green LED will uh, take more time to finish because of the delay of 2 seconds. You might ask now, what about the main loop? You still can add uh, a code inside. I will blink uh, there a third LED in a quick uh, way. And this is uh, the result. The yellow LED is connected to D5 and, uh, and its code is inside the, the main loop. When the other LED finishes blinking, the main loop will continue to be executed by blinking the yellow LED. In the end, I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye!